as you. What do you think you're doing, Morocco? I just want to make sure I am me. <laughs> Secret Squirrel, today on Boomerang from Cartoon Network. It's all coming back to you. This is a presentation of Fox Sports. It's a gorgeous day in Glasgow. Perfect weather to play for championship. And that's exactly what we have for you as World Bowl 11 wraps up the NFL Europe League season. But of course, when in Scotland, you must do as the Scottish do. So along with my partner, Brian Baldinger, we headed into the center of Glasgow, the fashion district, if you will, to get a little lesson on how we might wind up being cover boys for the Scottish version of Vanity Fair. Glasgow, Scotland, it's the championship game of the NFL Europe League as the Rhine Fire and the Frankfurt Galaxy battle it out in World Bowl 11. Hello again, everyone, along with my partner, Brian Baldinger, and feeling a little freer today for some reason. Well, in Scotland, Kurt, <laughs> real men wear kilts. It's a formal event. It's World Bowl 11, and we're here to celebrate it. Well, I'm Kurt Menefee. He is Brian Baldinger, and Baldy, we're here for the championship game of the NFL Europe League, World Bowl 11. And I think the key word there, Kurt, is championship, because most of these players have never won a championship at any level. And they started back in February in training camp, so four months later, here they are with brand new skill sets that they're going to take back to training camp in July, and then I think also they want to leave with the ring. Well, you, you take a look at these teams, and let's look at the matchup. Top two teams in all of NFL Europe. Let's begin with a high-powered offense for that Frankfurt Galaxy squad. Yeah, and the Galaxy, Kurt, they really rely on the big play, especially the wide receivers. Mark Lester and Robert Baker, they combined for 13 touchdown catches this year. They're explosive, and they really live on that big play. Meanwhile, the Rhine Fire in the World Bowl for the second straight year, but looking to win it this time around. Yeah, and the Rhine Fire are so consistent because every year they rely on the running game, and they're really good in the interior of the offensive line. Left guard Pat Crummy, Dustin Keith at center, and Jim Jones, the right guard, are good at paving a way for the league's second leading rusher, Archery Denson. If that name rings a bell, he is Notre Dame's all-time leading rusher. And a former member of the Miami Dolphins now with the Detroit Lions. All right, remember to close your legs when you sit down. That's, that's Real men wear kilts, Kurt. Yeah, I got it. As long as you remember that. All right, we'll be back with the opening kickoffs from Hampton Park here in Glasgow, Scotland. World Bowl 11 is next. Charging Jeff Gordon gun for NASCAR's top spot as he chases points leader Matt Kenneth. Every point counts. Winston Cup Racing, tomorrow, 1230 Eastern, 930 Pacific, on Fox. Fox Tonight. Cops brings back Coco the hooker-busting clown. So, uh, how about a little clown action? And he's not fooling around. <laughs> Cops. Then, police say this dance instructor is really a sexual predator who killed one of his students. Help us find him. America's Most Wanted. It all starts at 8, 7 central tonight on Fox. Verizon, putting together the most extreme package of services ever. It's Verizon Freedom All! Woo! It's local, long distance, internet and wireless. On one bill, for one low price. Call 1-800-361-7302 to sign up, and you can save over $350 a year. Put it together and get the freedom of unlimited calling from home. Across town, across the country, even to Canada. Plus unlimited nights and weekends on your cell phone. And 300 minutes of weekday talk, too. Plus high-speed internet access and awesome calling services like caller ID and home voicemail on just one bill. Call 1-800-361-7302 to sign up, and you can save over $350 a year. When you get it all together, everything just falls into place. Verizon. Make progress every day.
Albie Oxenreiter on Pittsburgh's most watched 10 o'clock newscast on Fox 53. Royal Air Force providing a flyover for us here at Hampton Park and also providing commentary on the sideline. A longtime member of the Scottish Claymores. More catches than any receiver in the history of the NFL Europe League and more fun hat than a lot of guys have had as well. The Scotsman himself, Scott Cooper, the third member of our crew down on the sideline. Scott? Hi, thanks for that, guys. Yes, each NFL Europe team has eight non-American national players. That makes 48 guys around the league. 49 non-Americans if you include Scott McCready, the English-born receiver who was allocated by the New England Patriots to the Claymores this year. And these guys play all over the field, offense and defense. And they're from all over the world as well, from far away as Nigeria, Japan, Turkey, Mexico. And there are some great wins out there today. Keep your eyes out for Marco Suma, receiver for the Frankfurt Galaxy, and Bastian Lano, who dominates in the right fire defensive line. But back to you guys. All right, Scotty, good job there, buddy. Hey, that guy is a pro. He's got a, he's got a career future. That's a yeah, we're transition gonna get from wide receiver to the booth. Frankfurt has won the toss and will receive here as we begin World Bowl 11. Brian McDonald takes it. Makes a couple of moves and finally brought down at the 25-yard line. And so we'll get our first look at the Galaxy on offense. Number two ranked offense during the regular season. And... They are led by the former University of Texas quarterback James Brown. He'll play the first quarter. The backup, Quinn Gray, who is a member of the Jacksonville Jaguars, will come in in the second quarter. The coaches will decide after that. First down, ball just at the 26-yard line. Brown to the air right away, and he completes that first pass out to his... Miami Dolphin wide receiver Robert Baker picks up 14 yards and a first down. Up front for the Galaxy, a big offensive line led by the Falcons. Michael Moore at left guard, a member of the All-NFL Europe team this regular season. And among the backs and receivers, you already saw Robert Baker in action. He and Mark Lester from the Baltimore Ravens, the best receiving tandem in all of NFL Europe this season. Last time these two teams played two weeks ago, both of those receivers went over 100 yards in receiving. First down at the 40. Jonas Lewis, the ex-49er, runs it right up the middle of the field into Ryan territory. Finally dragged down at the 38-yard line to give him a gain of 23. Uh, they run a fake reverse motion by Corey Dickerson here, and it caught Ryan a little bit of a sleep. You see a good push right here in the middle, and a lane open up in the middle. Now this is where a running back skills take over. That's vision being able to see to the outside and then use his talent to get there. So first down at the Ryan 38. Brown. Out of the backfield, and that's dropped by Robert Gillespie. Well, this Ryan fired defense ranked second in the league this season to Frankfurt. They've had some injuries, especially in the last game of the season, so Derek Ham will make his first start of the year. That linebacker, they've got a good one from the Arizona Cardinals and Charles Burton tied for the league league in tackles this season. And their safeties are their best players, Greg Brown and Abdul Howard from the Jacksonville Jaguars. Play fake on second down. Brown has the time and just overthrew a wide open Robert Baker. You know, Kurt, Scott Cooper said that each of these teams consists of eight national players. Players not born in the United States. Some of them have played there. Some of them have played on NFL teams. The other 40 players are all American players. And some of them are allocated by NFL teams getting work here. Others are free agents looking to sign with the team. And NFL teams around the league will be scouting this tape, looking for prospects to bring to camp. Brown working from the shotgun. Needing the 28-yard line for the first. In trouble. Buys time and escapes a couple of guys, but couldn't make it. Bastian Lano, the German national player, was the first guy to get him. And so Frankfurt will have to settle for a field goal attempt. 
that James Brown played here last year in Scotland for the Scottish Claymores. He never started a game in this stadium. He was a backup last year, played, but never started. And so some jitters here wanting to show the fans of Scotland that he's deserving of a start. John Hilbert on for a 53-yard field goal attempt. That's worth four points here in NFL Europe. And it's good. John Hilbert, the former Dallas Cowboy, Carolina Panther, gets a four-point field goal to put Frankfurt on the board first. store it's a toy box for dads and during dad days now through june 15th it's the best place to find the perfect gift for dad like if you're looking to get him a mower tools or a select pressure washer there's no interest or payments until june 2004 on purchases of 299 dollars or more just use your consumer credit card perfect gifts no payments or interest and guaranteed everyday low prices will make dad smile the home depot you can do it we can help Fox Tuesday. You've seen them strut their stuff. How dare you give me so much pleasure? And heard what the parents have to say. I think it's unfair she didn't make it. Now, meet the celebrity judges and cast your own vote when the first ten finalists perform live on stage and put their fate in your hands. You decide. You vote. American Juniors at 8, 7 Central Fox Tuesday. Eddie Arlette is a New York cop in London. He may be miles away from home. You feeling lucky, punk? But he and his new roommate are worlds apart. You know what would be good? What's that? Do you have food poisoning? Keen Eddie, all new, 98 Central Fox Tuesday. World Bowl 11 on Fox is brought to you by The Home Depot, driving down the cost of home improvement. And by Allstate, you're in good hands with Allstate. From Glasgow, Scotland, we've got two German teams playing for the championship of NFL Europe. Frankfurt scored on his first possession and leads it 4-0. Well, these are the two most successful franchises in this league over there. are six teams here. Frankfurt and Rhine, both of them have been here now for their fifth time. The Rhine Fire play in Gelsenkirchen, which is just outside of Dusseldorf. Back to receive the kickoff from John Hilbert. Kendall Newson backs him all the way up into his end zone, and Newson, the leading kick returner in all of the league this season, won't get a chance to return here. What did, what did Hilbert have for breakfast? He kicked a 53-yard field goal and then that kickoff. Well, it was his first uh, field goal over 50 yards all year. He's now one for five, but sometimes it's a championship game. Players find new endorphins. You know, things kick into them when it's a championship, and you get spectacular performances and big games from guys. Quarterback for the Ryan Fire from the Denver Broncos, number 12, Nick Rolovich, will play the first quarter. Chris Gleisen gets the second, and then the coaches will decide at halftime. Rolovich goes to the air right away, gets it out to Newsom, and Newsom diving forward, trying to get that first down. Chris Pointer brought him down with a tackle. And Rolovich, all season long, has played the first quarter with Gleisen playing the second, and usually they alternate in the second half, but the coaches, with this being a championship game, choosing to go a little bit differently today. Well, it's a one game takes all. So whoever gets the hot hand, they're going to stay with them. To this point, it's been fair. They split equal time, but in the championship game, whoever gets hot is going to stay in the game. Eight yard gain by Newsom. And there's Newsom picks up enough for the first down as he fights his way out to the 39 yard line before Chris Pointer tackled him again. Well, the Ryan Fire offense led by that strong offensive line. I know Baldy, the right guard, Jim Jones from the Baltimore Ravens you think may be the best player in the entire league. You've already seen Kendall Newsom in action at wide receiver, and Autry Denson is going to be a key in the running game today. Well, Ryan has come out and completed the first two passes, Kurt. Peter Morelli, our referee today, having his first conversation down on the field. We've got 12 men in the huddle for Frankfurt. Well, Looks like...
So they decline the penalty and take the yardage. So they'll have a first down. Well, that's Mike Jones in your picture there. He's the offensive coordinator. Uh, Frankfurt likes to play their corners off, about 8 to 10 yards off. And right now, Ryan is just taking advantage of this area right here. Rolovich. Quick pass. This is to one of his other wide receivers, Charlie Adams. And Adams picks up about two yards on the play. Well, the Frankfurt Galaxy defense finished the regular season as the number one ranked defense in all the league. They've got a strong front four led by a couple of Seahawks. Joey Evans led the league in, se or second in the league in sacks, pardon me. Louis Almanzer made the all-league team. Fred Jones, their leading tackler, is the middle linebacker. And in the secondary, their strength as well lies in their safeties. Rashidi Barnes, number 28, the defensive player of the year. Autry Denson gets his first carry, and he's wrapped up almost immediately by Fred Jones. Give him a yard, maybe a yard and a half. You know, Autry Denson who just carried the ball. I mean, you think about Notre Dame football, the history of it, and how people follow it around the world. And he's the all-time leading rusher in the history of that program. Now, he's played in Miami, and he's, he's been in Detroit. He came over here because he really hasn't had a great opportunity in the NFL. He wants to show the league and to Detroit that he's a playmaker that can hold up and that he's got good skills still at that position. They need to get right to the midfield strike for the first down. Rolovich. Adams goes up but can't pull it down. Incomplete. Fighting with Chris Cummings right there who made a nice play to prevent the catch from being made. Well, what Frankfurt did was they gave Ryan a couple of easy completions and then what the key to the whole series was they stopped him in the running game. And that's really the whole game today. Can Ryan run the ball or can't they? And if they can't, it's going to be a long day because everything they do comes off the run. Robert Baker from the Miami Dolphins, a dangerous punt return man. Already returned two for touchdowns this year. That high snap is Watch caught. Up. Jay Baker gets it off. And Robert Baker picks it up, doesn't get very far before being brought down right at the 21-yard line. 42 yards on the punt, five on the return. We'll get to see number five, James Brown, take over when we come back. Okay, let's say this is your car and you get into an accident. Oh boy. If you take it to an Allstate recommended repair shop, they'll fix it. So you're pretty happy. You're like, ooh, I'm pretty happy. Even better, Allstate guarantees the workmanship for as long as you own the car, which means if even the smallest thing goes wrong, you don't have to pay for it. So you're still happy. You're like, ooh, I'm still happy. So there you go, the Allstate lifetime repair guarantee. Call now and find out how you're in good hands with Allstate. Welcome back to the Haviland 500 and checking the Haviland running order. The Haviland 42 cars moving up. Yeah, boy, take a look at that Haviland Speedo and Haviland Tack on the Murray's ride. That's time to slap with a Haviland stopwatch. That Haviland temperature gauge says the engine's running good. It's time to pay some bills. Folks, this race is brought to you by, uh... Haviland Motor Oil. Yep, now back to racing. I tell you what, it's easy to see why Jamie's doing so well. And thanks for these beautiful overhead shots from the Haviland Blimps. My name is David. I play offense. I play center. I play guard. I play defense. Vincent and I play linebacker. I play running back. I play fullback. My name's Casey and I play football. I really hate the way I live now. I hate my life now. Maybe my next life, I'll have a better life. Beyond the Glory on Fox Sports Net. Stop! Good job, good job! Now we do it over here! Go! Lears, Lears, shot! Straight 88! Why so it is? Straight 88! Why so it is? Hot! It's your lead! Woo! Keep on trucking in and you're going yet! Taking you on the sideline, on the field, in the huddle, and everywhere. We've got six members of these two teams wearing microphones today, so we'll be able to listen in throughout the game as to what's going on on the field and on the sideline as well. The yeah, players and coaches, Kirk, hear from both of them, both sides, and all of the communication that has to take place for the, the greatest team game going to take place. Frankfurt begins their second possession just across the 20. Jonas Lewis. Oh, shit. Lewis. 
picked up five yards on the run. Four yards on the run. Nice job by Lewis. Charles Burton in there with the tackle. Uh, Charles Burton now, you know, he needs to have a big game today. They've got to snuff the running game, and that's what you want from your playmaker on defense. And Burton that time did a good job laterally coming down the field, down the line, and then wrapping Jonas Lewis up. Burton missed practice time this week with a strained groin, so they're hoping that he can go throughout this game. To the air again. Quick strike caught by Mark Lester. Makes a move. <laughs> And is dragged down by Burton after getting past Teddy Gaines. Good enough for another first down. This time, 22 yards. Yeah, and you know, James Brown looks pretty sharp here. I mean, he's hitting he really that does. fifth step and getting the ball out quick. You know, he said that his goal of coming back here this year was to be the MVP of the league. Now, he wasn't. But you can be the MVP of the championship game, and that's a better thing. And he's off to a good start, really directing this offense in a sharp manner. Ball at the 33-yard line. Jonas Lewis again. And Lewis dances for another four-yard pickup. Yeah, you talk about Charles Burton. He played with a pulled groin and missed most of practice this week. But it's like he's been in a cage all week, too. Because he's coming. And he's coming on some collisions now. I mean, he's getting a running start. Yeah. And Frankfurt's one of the few teams, only one of only two teams in this league that plays with a fullback, Corey McIntyre. And he's had some head-banging collisions early in this game. They know each other already. Off the play fake. Brown in trouble. Just throws it out there, and lucky it wasn't intercepted intended, at least in the direction of that fullback, Corey McIntyre. Well, it's apparent right now. You know, Frankfurt, the last time they played two weeks ago, got embarrassed 38-7. to in Frankfurt and in that game Frankfurt had three big plays you know that really turned the game around and right now it looks to me like the Ryan fire they're just not going to allow them to time for big plays to develop they are attacking the line of scrimmage on third down Frankfurt has to get it to the 23 yard line for the first Brown going deep Brian McDonald tries to one handed here come the flag Lemuel Ligon may have gotten there a bit early. And it came from the back judge. It came from the back judge and not the side judge. I thought who had a better look at it. Pass interference against Ryan is indeed the call. Well, I talked about that two weeks ago. There were big plays happening in the game. Pass interference, number 20. On the defense, in the end zone, the ball will be placed on the one-yard line. First down. Well, Brian McDonald gets behind Tony Lucas here. And Lemuel Ligon, I say, excuse me. Lemuel Ligon, he gets behind him. Ligon, who doesn't see the ball, grabs the left arm of McDonald, and that was the interference. And it's a good call. First and goal from the one-yard line. Jonas Lewis, oh, wide open. How easy was that? Touchdown, Frankfurt Galaxy. Set up by the defensive pass interference just like it did two weeks ago how you play the ball in the air in the national football league determines the outcome of games and right now frankfurt's playing the ball better in the air and ralph Lyman makes the extra point so frankfurt goes up 11 nothing lemuel liggins on the sideline trying to explain exactly what happened on that big pass interference penalty that set up the game's first touchdown Mother's Day, Fox is bringing you network-wide savings on everything in stock. With huge deals on our entire lineup of comedy. Knock your out. Get a Futurama never before available to the public. See two King of the Hill for the price of one. Treat the whole family to free samples of the Simpsons. Hey, I didn't have my stomach let out for nothing. Plus, watch Juan Malcolm get an Oliver Bean tree. Everything must go. Hey, get out. I'm in here. Oh. Come early. Sale starts at 7-6 Central, Fox Sunday. Come on, Cupcake, you can do it! Come on! Come on, Cupcake! I'm gonna pop my baby! Come on! Oh, I'm almost dead! Sign that thing! Come on! Good job, man! Dude! 
Grab me a mic. There's nothing but a fish and empty bottles in here. When you're fishing for refreshment, a hard mics is good to find. Make it mics. When you think about the most important moments in your life, what were you wearing? Every man should own at least one suit. We invite you to buy yours from us. 100% wool suits, starting at $200. You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. Men's Warehouse. To contact the store nearest you, call 1-800-776-SUIT. Seinfeld, one of the Fox 53 classic comedies. Weeknights at 7.30. Well, during the regular season, Ryan and Frankfurt, two German neighbors, have the fiercest rivalry in NFL Europe today. They're playing for the league championship. Frankfurt on top, 11-0, but... Like the Super Bowls go to a different city, this game is now in Glasgow, Scotland, and we go back down to the field for the third member of our crew, a native Glaswegian, Scott Cooper. Thanks, Carl. Yes, American football, as we call it, has been established in Europe now for, for a number of decades. Some of the big names you'll hear are the Cologne Crocodiles, the uh, Dusseldorf Panthers, the London O's, the Edinburgh Wolves. These are teams who play in the capital cities all over Europe. One of the great things, though, is that flag football for, for kids has really taken off around the world, and especially in Europe. There's a lot of schools running it now, so more and more kids have been exposed to the world of American football earlier. Here in Scotland, there are now over 150 clubs playing American football, so the future looks very bright for the sport here. Thank you. All right. I can tell we've been in Scotland a long time. I understand him now. <laughs> you can actually understand him now, huh? <laughs> I thought it was a foreign language a couple of weeks ago. Audrey Denson takes the kickoff at the four-yard line. Won't get much stopped after a return of about 15 yards by Chris Young. But, you know, Scott's talking about football in Europe. You know, they got 40 universities here, just in Scotland, that are playing college football. You know, and so, and, you know, and they're trying to, they, they don't know how to take a divot out of their helmet either. And Hugo Lira, the Mexican national player. Yeah, and one of the fastest guys on their team, and he's getting an opportunity, a national player. And the coaches said it took about six weeks before they could understand Spanish well enough to tell him to go cover a kick. They need to learn Spanish to get the divot out of your helmet. Yeah. Frank Moreau Good now on a tail back for the Ryan fire. Penalty <laughs> markers go flying. There's some early movement from the right side of that defensive line. Defense, number 99, outside. Five-yard penalties. Still, first down. Really, the, the strength of this Ryan Fire offense is up front. You know, Jim Jones, a right guard to me, is the best player in the league. Of course, I'm an offensive lineman. Dustin Keith, Pat Crummy from the New York Giants, they really are the earth movers up front. They've got to move the real estate to give this team an opportunity. Moreau with the carry. And Frank Moreau wrapped up by Fred Jones and Daniel Benetka. Pick up of about three yards. Yeah, you know, they're going up against the best trio in, the, in this league, the interior of the defensive line of Frankfurt, Louis Almanzer, Buck Gurley, and Fred Jones. That two defensive tackles and that linebacker in the middle, they're the best defense in this league. They're number one in all, most of the categories. And you have, this is a real war going on right in that circle there today. They gave him the first down. Moreau, get through a hole, still on his feet. Nice run by Frank Moreau, a pickup of 14 yards. Chris Young finally stopped him. Now, oh, Frank, he said this is what they needed to do. Yeah, this is their style of football now. Frank has started a couple of games this year. He's a guy that played for the Kansas City Chiefs, and he's a north-south runner. I mean, here he is running behind. Nice down block by Dwayne Ledford and Pat Crummy. Breaking a couple of arm tackles, and that's really what the Ryan Fire do best right there. Downhill, I'm a smash-mouth football. Ball on the 43, Moreau again. This time had to fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage before Daniel Benetka made the tackle. You know, everybody talks about how important it is to run the ball, stop the run at every level of football, and it's true. But what happens is teams get paranoid, especially defenses, when teams can run the ball. And what they do is they start walking extra guys up to the line of scrimmage just to put more bodies up there. And then that paves the way for the deep pass, the play action, getting the easy balls down the field. 
Ryan has three wide receivers in on second down. They hand it off again, though. And Moreau going to be stopped at the line of scrimmage for the second effort, allowing him to pick up four more. Idris Price, the Tampa Bay Buccaneer, with the stop. Yeah, and that time that the triangle won. That time Al Manzer and Buck Gurley in the middle along with Freddie Jones. I mean, they did a good job of stuffing it and forcing a third and long. You know, this, there, there's Al Manzer right in the middle. I mean, there's no movement there. Stood up Pat Crummy at the line of scrimmage, and that made Moreau kind of danced a little bit in the backfield. This right. time, nobody in the backfield. Exactly, going with four wide receivers, needing to get it to the 47 of Frankfurt. That pass caught by Todd Elstrom. He's got running room. And Elstrom finally forced out of bounds at the 22-yard line by Jeremy Unerto. But a big play for this Ryan offense on third and long. They pick up 43 yards. Kurt, this is fun football because Frankfurt blitzes here because there's nobody in the backfield. So they come after him, and they beat the blitz. See, that time, Rolovich got rid of the ball to Elstrom before the blitz got there. And that's what it's all about. It's about beating the blitz when they come after you. And that's a good counterpunch that time. And when they blitz, there's nobody in the middle of the field. There's a lot of room to run. So a first down from the 22. Frank Moreau back in at tailback. He stopped right there at the line of scrimmage. Okay, man. Louis Almanzer and Joey Evans in on the tackle. And it seems like Frank was determined not to let Ryan run the ball. Well, you know, that guy, Louis Almanzer, in the middle is, is a man. And to me, he's, he's one of the best players in this league. He, he's, got a, uh, he's got a burst of sack that popped in his knee and it keeps swelling on him. He's been resting it most of the week. But, you know, his parents are from the Dominican Republic. And uh, he grew up in Jersey City, just a tough city kid that went to Nebraska to go to college. Went out to the cornfields to learn the skills. On second down, Rolovich pulls it down and is this brought down. Louis Almanzer with the tackle. The Jersey City kid who what? went to Nebraska and then wound up transferring. Well, you know, the, the commissioner of the National Football League is here today, Paul Tagliabue. And, and Paul grew up in Jersey City, and he finds out before the game that Louis Almanzer is from Jersey City. He goes to talk to him. It turns out that Almanzer is from the same neighborhood, went to the same school, played on the same football fields that the commissioner did. Now the commissioner's all excited about Louis Almanzer. He knows that he plays for Seattle and that he's got a real future in the NFL. Well, he's on the sideline right now in another third and long situation. Ryan has to get it to the 12. A little flare out of the backfield for Frank Moreau, and it's incomplete. Well, that time, Frankfurt did a great job of taking away the receiver that Rolovich wanted to throw the football to. I mean, just good defense. Dropped off a defensive end, John Schleck, to cover the back. There's nowhere to go with the football. Todd France will come in to attempt the field goal from 39 yards out. France, a member of the Minnesota Vikings. And he gets the Ryan Fire on the scoreboard. And so the Fire has moved it to within eight points here in the first quarter. Capital One No Hassle Card for the nation's lowest fixed rates. What's in your wallet? Lori thinks her boyfriend is cheating on her, so she's hired a gorgeous model to test his fidelity on hidden camera. You don't have a girlfriend, do you? Nicole, cool. what's going on with me? Yeah, drink. Everything's on me. Busted. The new series, Anything for Love, premieres at 9, 8 central Monday on Fox. 
This summer, Fox is sending 11 sexy singles to live in a tropical resort. But in this paradise, you have one week to hook up or you're out. And some lucky viewer will take your place. Paradise Hotel, where you've got to be very good to get in and very bad to stay. Premieres at 9, 8 central Wednesday on Fox. Parental discretion advised. Later today, Fox Saturday Baseball returns with exciting interleague play. Albert Pujols and the Cardinals look to keep pace in the tight NL Central when they take on Alfonso Soriano and the New York Yankees. Of course, the Braves and Mariners battling it out, plus the Dodgers square off against the Cleveland Indians. Fox Saturday Baseball returns today at 3 Eastern, noon Pacific, only on Fox. And we should say congratulations to Roger Clemens, who Absolutely. last night became the latest and maybe last 300-game winner in the Major League history, plus got his 4,000th strikeout in a win over the Cardinals. I always thought the Rocket would have been a heck of a football player. He, he just looks like a linebacker and a guy that uh, would enjoy going down on kickoffs and blowing people up. And he grew up in Texas. you got to play football, right? Oh, that's the national sport. Brian McDonald takes the kickoff. Brought down right at the 24-yard line. Hey, Kirk, this, starts from, from there. Go ahead, Baldy. Great developmental league. That's Eric Green right there in your picture, former tight end with the Pittsburgh Steelers and, and the New York Jets. And he, bad. He he's one of those guys that's over here right now, trying to become a coach. You know, and, and the commissioner has opened up this program to former players to come out here and start to learn the skills. And they're each team had an intern this year. Barry Foster's on the other side with the Ryan Fire, but everybody remembers Hugh Green in Tampa. And Reggie McElroy, a big offensive lineman that played in the league a long time. Well, Quinn Gray now in at quarterback for Frankfurt. Hands it off to Jonas Lewis. This is an expected change, as we said earlier. Brown plays the first quarter. Gray plays the second quarter. And then they decide which color they want in the second half. Well, look at that stat. You know, the first five games, no touchdowns. The last five games, 11. You know what that says? Development. That's what's going on with Quinn Gray. Went to a small school in Florida A&M has gotten an opportunity to play and really came on the last month of the season. On second down to Lewis from the backfield. The screenplay picks up about three more yards. He's tackled right at the 29-yard line by Terrence Dukes on what looks to be the final play of the first quarter here at World Bowl 11 from Glasgow, Scotland. It's the championship game of NFL Europe. So far, the Frankfurt Galaxy own an eight-point lead, but we're only one quarter into it. Hey! It's time you expected more from an insurance company. Because at Progressive.com, you can get our price for car insurance, plus the rates of other big-name companies. And that could save you hundreds. We can help you save money, even if it's not with us. Call Progressive today or visit Progressive.com. Compare rates and buy a policy instantly. We can help you save money, even if it's not with us. You could start saving now. Call Progressive today. Not what you'd expect from an insurance company. You're watching Fox Sports. Hey, if you've got a thirst, check what's happening around Pittsburgh with the Coors Light calendar update. Come celebrate 40 years of great racing at the Meadows, June 26th, 27th, and 28th. While you're there, enjoy ice-cold Coors Light specials. Fanatics in Squirrel Hill has Coors Light bottles for $1.50 or a 16-ounce Coors Light draft for $1 every Thursday. And join us for the Coors Light Pennsylvania Rib, Wing, and Music Festival at the Westmoreland Fairgrounds, June 20th, 21st, and 22nd. Stay tuned for more info on the Coors Light calendar update. Coming up next, the Application Center announces new programs that may make you eligible for home repairs. The Application Center, the premier and only independent consumer coordination service, is now accepting applications. Updates may include roofs, windows, siding, bathrooms, kitchens, and heating, although specific needs may vary. These updating programs are designed for middle-income families. For application information, call the Application Center at 1-800-874-7814. Friends, one of the Fox 53 classic comedies, weeknights at 6 and 7. That's the 41-pound Crystal Trophy these teams are battling for. Here in World Bowl 11, each team has been here five times, and that guy's been here a whole lot more. Commissioner of the National Football League, Paul Tagliabue in attendance. 
Well, he loves this league, and he got off the plane from New York on Thursday, went right out to practice, talked to the Frankfurt Galaxy, and a lot of the players were commenting how big he is. You know, he looks like a football player. Of course, played basketball in college. But uh, they were like, they liked the fact that he was one of them. Third down for the Galaxy as we start the second quarter. Quinn Gray. Mark Lester tried to one-handed but didn't do it. And so Gray and the Galaxy appealing their case. And Ryan's appealing theirs and saying, hey, stick with the call. There is no instant replay in this league, by the way. So the call will stand on the field unless the official changes it without the benefit of replay. Well, these, these two wide receivers, Mark Lester and Robert Baker, are capable of great one-handed catches. Let's just see right here. You, you know, Mark Lester might have pulled that he ball. He may have. You know, that was a one-handed grab. Okay. They stay with the call of an incompletion, but... It was a heck of an effort yeah. by the Baltimore Raven, Mark Lester. Uh, you, you couldn't tell it from the replay whether he was able to hang on to it or not. This Kendall Newsom, who not only led the league in kickoff returns, but putt returns as well, back to take this kick from Tim Morgan, who has high hang time all season long, just like this time. Newsom gets it, nowhere to go. Just about a yard on the return and nothing else. Ryan takes over for the first time in the second quarter when we continue. It was your favorite grill. Everything just the way it should be. Beef cooking over an open fire. The finest food on this green earth. Lettuce, you bet. Tomatoes, pickles, onions, pour them on. Remember now, the original Whopper Still your favorite, all for $1.99. The grill's going at Burger King. We'd love to put a fire-grilled Whopper on for you. Burger King, come on over. The fire's ready. is brought to you by Burger King. We'd love to put a fire-grilled original Whopper on for you. Burger King, the fire's ready. And While the fire uh, that burns in the souls of a lot of Scotsmen is the passion for their fellow countrymen. Well, no doubt about it. A number of great ones. You know, we got the night in one here. 007 himself, Sean Connery. Well, and there was the latest 007. Roger Moore got knighted today. Roger Moore knighted today. Nice job by you keeping uh, up with the news. I tried. Malcolm and Angus Young, that's the music group, ACDC. Is that them playing in the background? No, nah, they never played any bagpipes in that, in that band. That was just ear-splitting rock and roll. But they did wear kilts and shorts. Well, as you should. You're in Scotland. Chris Bryson, the former Arizona Cardinal, now in at quarterback. As we said, he expected to come in and play the second quarter. He goes to the air right away and completes that one. Emmett Johnson making the catch. Good for an eight-yard pickup. But Bryson spent three years with the Cardinals, and when you play for the Arizona Cardinals, at least previously, you didn't get to play much because Jake Plummer took every single snap. He had seven passes in three years in the NFL. Here we go, here we go. We're going first down here. Let's go zero, 36, first down, first down. Ready? We're going to run this right behind the right guard, Jim Jones, who's going to pull on this play. Here we go, hold on. Easy, easy, easy. And now he's easy. changing the play. That easy Six changes the play. 690. 690. Pump fakes. Goes up top for Newsom. Incomplete. Newsom did his best to try and draw a flag against Chris Pointer, but that one wasn't close. Yeah, Chris Greising comes in in the second quarter. This is the last game in NFL Europe, and 
These quarterbacks that rotate, they want to make plays. So why run off right guard if you can maybe go up top for a touchdown? And sometimes you get a little bit greedy. Nick Rolovich there on the sideline, rotating as they have done all season. No backfield. When that happens, look for Frankfurt to blitz. They need the 46 for the first. Quick pass. And that's caught. Emmett Johnson made the grab and got hit hard by Chris Pointer, but he still he picked up the first in the game of 10. You know, Emmett Johnson is what is the X receiver. You know, you got an X, you have a Y, and a Z. So here's Emmett out here on the outside, going to run an inside slant. They give him a lot of room, and now the key is to be able to hang on to that football. And Emmett Johnson, the guy that didn't play a lot of football, only one year of high school, he was a track athlete. Missed it so much after his junior year running track that he went out and played football, went to Virginia Tech. Play with Michael Vick there. Audrey Denson couldn't get around the corner. Denson picks up about a yard and a half on the play. When you see a running back go into the line of scrimmage, next thing you know, he's just getting pushed to the sideline. That means the guys up front, Joey Evans, Al Manzer, Buck Gurley, aren't allowing the earth movers up there to do anything. Take a look at it right here. See, I mean, just a good job of forcing. Chris Cummings getting into the action. Some of the secondary people forcing as well. Second and long. Three receivers in. Bryson. Thrown too high for Lavelle Boyd. Incomplete. 